the other thing you want to look at is learning styles. We all have different learning styles. Uh, we have different ways of activating memory and all of our attention spans are different. All adults have different attention spans just like kids do. And learning styles, uh, most of the ones that we're used to thinking about, visual learners, auditory learners, kinesthetic, tactile, most of us have a combination of these. You may have one predominant. If you look on this slide, the pyramid, you'll notice that this is about how long people remember something that they've done. If it's only been a lecture, uh, they don't remember very much. If you think back when you sat through lectures or maybe when you sit through continuing ed, after about 15 or 20 minutes your mind starts to wander. And so we don't always remember the full 50 minutes of what we've been listening to. Let me see. The in-service should have a goal. Michelle said she wanted the evening text to know there is a short access grid in the department and the others have been ordered. She also wants the text to know how to use those grids. Learning objectives support the goal. What do you feel is one of the most frequent errors a new clinical instructor makes when planning out their first instructional session? I think probably one of the most common uh, problems that people have in, in the beginning whenever they're doing a presentation for anything is that they probably try to do too much. You try to put everything you know into your presentation. Kevin, there is no doubt that I change the depth of my presentations depending upon my audience. Um, if I have an audience with a tremendous amount of experience, I'm going to do a lot of question and answer to get them to be interactive. Um, kind of tune them in to what they can do in their practice versus an audience who may not know anything about what the topic is. First year student, first day of clinical, um, they've seen a little bit at school, maybe a little bit in their lab, but when we get to clinical it's a whole other world. So you have to really look at um, your audience and gauge, or actually you really need to know your audience to gauge what depth you're going to go into. This concludes the sample of this module. Thank you for your interest in the Clinical Instructor Academy series.